Hey, moms and dads, be sure to watch the special Just for Parents video magazine immediately following this program. It's full of fun-filled activities you can use to help your children learn and grow. Hi there! I'm Bongo, and welcome to the Alphabet Zoo! Welcome to the Alphabet Zoo, where there's so much to see and so much to do. Just follow along and we'll explore the alphabet, the animals, and so much more! The Alphabet Zoo is a great place to learn all 26 letters of the alphabet. We'll learn what the letters look like and the sounds they make. We'll also learn about all the animals that live here. So... Here at the Alphabet Zoo, we'll learn about letters and have fun too. We'll see all the animals from A to Z. We got games to play and songs to sing. Two favorite things in the whole world are bananas and the letters of the alphabet. Do you know what the letters of the alphabet look like? Well, here they are! There's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Why do I like letters so much? Well, when you know the letters of the alphabet, you can read books, write your name, and so many other things. Letters are amazing. When I see A, B, or C, I am so delighted. D, E, F, and G get me so excited. Letters make me happy. You know they really can cut. Letters are so amazing. I just go bananas. H, I, and J send my mind a reeling. K, L, and M give me a special feeling. Letters make me happy. You know they really can't cut. Letters are so amazing. I just go bananas. Oh, yeah! I find that N, O, and P are really quite terrific. Q, R, and S are great, now let me be specific. Letters make me happy, you know they really can cause. Letters are so amazing, I just go bananas. Woo! You know, T, U, and V truly are fantastic. W, X, Y, and Z make me enthusiastic. Letters make me happy, you know they really can cut. Letters are so amazing, I just go bananas. Oh, letters are so amazing, I just go bananas. Oh! Now that we know what the letters look like, 
Let's learn the sounds they make at the Alphabet Zoo. Woohoo! The first letter of the alphabet is A. Uppercase A, lowercase A. A says A, ah, like in alligator. There's a big green alligator lying near the swamp. It has great big jaws that go chomp, chomp, chomp. The word alligator begins with the letter A. A says A. Ah, alligator. B. Uppercase B, lowercase b. B says b, like in bear. Look, see the bear resting in the sun? He looks rather sleepy. Nap time has just begun. The word bear begins with the letter b. B says b, bear. C. Uppercase C, lowercase c. C says k, like in camel. Camels like to travel in a caravan. They walk very slowly through the warm desert sand. The word camel begins with the letter C. C says k, camel. D. Uppercase D, lowercase d. D says d, like in deer. Shh, there's a deer. Its fur is golden brown. And when it prances through the woods, it barely makes a sound. The word deer begins with the letter D. D says Deer. E. Uppercase E, lowercase e. E says e, eh, like in elephant. Wow, there's an elephant whose skin is tough and gray. Its trunk goes back and forth. Watch it swing and sway. The word elephant begins with the letter E. E says F. Elephant. F. Uppercase F. Lowercase F. F says f, like in flamingo. Flamingos are such pretty birds with feathers colored pink. Some like to stand on one leg as they try to sip a drink. The word flamingo begins with the letter F. F says f flamingo. G, uppercase G, lowercase G. G says g, like in gazelle. There are some gazelles. They run very fast. Some like to eat, and others like to nap. The word gazelle. Begins with the letter G. G says g, gazelle. H, uppercase H, lowercase h. H says like in hippopotamus. There's a giant hippo swaying to and fro. Hippos, they're not fast at all. In fact, they're rather slow. The word hippopotamus begins with the letter H. H says hippopotamus. I, uppercase I, lowercase I. I says I, like in iguana. Ooh, there's an iguana with its rough and scaly back. It eats leaves and insects for its afternoon snack. The word iguana begins with the letter I. I says I, 
iguana. J, uppercase J, lowercase J. J says J, like in jaguar. There's the mighty jaguar, a sleek and cunning cat. Its coat is tawny yellow with black spots upon its back. The word jaguar begins with the letter J. J says J. Jaguar. K. Uppercase K. Lowercase K. K says k, like in koala. Koalas look very cute. They're a special kind of bear. They like to sleep in trees way up in the air. The word koala begins with the letter K. K says k, koala. L, uppercase L, lowercase L. L says Ooh, like in lion. The lion is the king of beasts. He has a mighty roar. However, when he's sleeping, all he does is snore. The word lion begins with the letter L. L says, ooh, lion. M, uppercase. M, lowercase, M. M says, hmm, like in monkey. Look at all the monkeys swinging in the trees. They're having lots of fun. Wouldn't you agree? The word monkey begins with the letter M. M says, hmm, monkey. N, uppercase. N, lowercase, N. N says, n, like in newt. There's a tiny newt. Its skin is soft and wet. A newt can live on land or water, whichever it likes best. The word newt begins with the letter N. N says, n, newt. O. Uppercase O, lowercase O. O says ah, like in otter. Splash go the otters. They like to swim and play. Otters have lots of fun splashing through the day. The word otter begins with the letter O. O says ah, otter. P, uppercase P, lowercase P. P says P, like in penguin. Penguins are funny birds. They're colored black and white. They love to swim in water. They have wings, but they can't fly. The word penguin begins with the letter P. P says. Penguin. Q. Uppercase Q. Lowercase Q. Q says qu, like in quail. Look at all the quail with feathers white and brown. They're different from the other birds because their nests are on the ground. The word quail. Begins with the letter Q. Q says qu quail. R. Uppercase R. Lowercase R. R says r, like in rhinoceros. Look, it's a rhinoceros with a big horn on its nose. Its skin is tough and thick, and it has funny-looking toes. The word rhinoceros begins with the letter R. R says 
Rhinoceros. S. Uppercase S. Lowercase S. S says S. Like in seal. Seals have lots of fun splashing all around, and when they try to speak, they make a barking sound. The word seal begins with the letter S. S says S. Seal. T. Uppercase T. Lowercase T. T says T. Like in tiger. Roar goes the tiger, a proud and mighty cat. Its beautiful orange coat is covered with stripes of black. The word tiger begins with the letter T. T says T. Tiger. U. Uppercase U. Lowercase U. U says U. Uh, like in umbrella bird. Umbrella birds eat fruits and bugs. They live high up in the trees. Their feathers are shiny black, which makes them hard to see. The word umbrella bird begins with the letter U. U says U.、Uh. Umbrella bird. V. Uppercase V. Lowercase V. V says V, like in vulture. There the vulture sits on the stump of a tree, always on the lookout for something good to eat. The word vulture begins with the letter V. V says V, vulture. W, uppercase W, lowercase. W, W says, wa, like in wallaby. Wallabies are very cute. They jump with leaps and bounds. Jumping is the way wallabies get around. The word wallaby begins with the letter W. W says, wa, wallaby. Uppercase X, lowercase X. X says X, like in ox. An ox is big and strong and steady on its feet, and you'll see oxen chewing grass when it's time to eat. The word ox ends with the letter X. X says. Ox. Y. Uppercase Y. Lowercase Y. Y says Y. Like in yellow bird. Yellow birds are pretty. They have bright yellow wings. They perch themselves in trees where they like to sing. The word yellow bird begins with the letter Y. Y says, "Yeah, yellow bird." The last letter of the alphabet is Z. Uppercase Z, lowercase Z. Z says, "Z," like in zebra. There's a herd of zebras. Their stripes go up and down. Some are grazing in the grass. While others trot around, the word zebra begins with the letter Z. Z says Z. Zebra. Well, those are all the animals and letters here at the Alphabet Zoo. You've seen what the letters look like. And the sounds they make. Now let's put it all together. Get up, everybody! It's the best game yet. Play along with us, the Action Alphabet. Woohoo! 
A is for action, we're moving to the beat. B is for balance, we're steady on our feet. C is for clap, put your hands together. D is for dance, you're lighter than a feather. E is for exercise, you can run in place. F is for funny, make a funny face. G is for giggle, you feel good inside. H is for hop, hop from side to side. I is for imagine, imagine you can fly. J is for jump, jump and touch the sky. K is for kick, kick and stretch your legs. L is for leap, leap frog is fun to play. M is for march, march all around. N is for noise, make a silly sound. O is for on, walk on your toes. P is for peek, peek through a hole. Q is for quiet, shh, don't make a sound. R is for run, get up and run around. S is for sway, sway to and fro. T is for touch, touch your head and toes. U is for up. Reach for the sky. V is for voice. Can you sing up high? W is for waddle. Waddle all around. X is an exit. We must be leaving now. Y is for yawn. Now it's time to rest. And Z is the last letter in the alphabet. <laughs> Now you know all the letters of the alphabet from A to Z. It was lots of fun. So come back and visit me anytime right here at the Alphabet Zoo. Woohoo! The Alphabet Zoo program introduced your child to many concepts and skills, including letter names, letter recognition, letters as symbols that make up words, and the sounds of each letter in our alphabet. To further enhance your child's learning experience, here are some ideas you can use to help support and expand the concepts and skills learned in this program. Letter recognition is one of the first steps in learning to read. You can help develop letter recognition skills in many daily activities. When you're reading, have your child find different letters on a page. When you're out shopping, have your child look at colorful package labels and name the letters they see. You can play a similar game while driving in the car with street signs and big colorful billboards. Activities like these not only help develop letter recognition skills, they teach children how to use letters and make them more conscious of letters around them. This type of activity also demonstrates that letters make up words and that written letters are actually symbols for spoken words. Now, here are other activities you can do. Clay is lots of fun, but did you know it's also a great learning tool? You can use it to help reinforce letter recognition. Try making letters of the alphabet out of clay. Ask your child what letter you made. Then show your child how to make the letter. With clay, you can make the letters two or three dimensional. Next, have your child work with the clay to make different letters. Using clay to make letters lets children touch and feel the shape of the letter. You can also make a batch of cookie dough, shape the dough into different letters, and then pop the letters into the oven for another fun and delicious way to help your child learn. Another fun activity is to make letters using different types of pasta. Let your child experiment with the pasta to make the various letters of the alphabet. 
You can then help your child glue the pasta on paper. You can expand this activity and use the pasta to spell the child's name and other words. Cutting letters out of old pieces of material and taping them on different things in the house is a game you can play to help reinforce the sounds of each letter. For example, place an R on your refrigerator, a D on the door, and an S on the stove. This video program is designed to provide an introduction to a variety of skills. However, your child will gain the greatest benefit through the continued practice and use of these skills. Activities that encourage your child to utilize all of their senses is the best way to help them learn. It provides the opportunity to experience information in many different ways and makes learning exciting. We've given you some ideas to enhance your child's learning experience and apply the skills introduced in this program. But the learning shouldn't stop there. Using your imagination, you can build on some of our ideas and think of many other activities you and your child can do together. As a parent, you play a vital role in this process. You are your child's first teacher throughout these most impressionable early years of development. With your encouragement and interest, you can create in your child a positive attitude and a confidence towards learning. Learning the alphabet is easy when you take a trip to the alphabet zoo. Welcome to the alphabet zoo. In the alphabet zoo, children learn the alphabet through original songs. I am so delighted. D, E, F, and G get me so excited. Children will learn to recognize the letters of the alphabet and the sounds they make. They'll also learn about 26 different animals from alligators to zebras. Games and activities will help children ages 2 to 7 reinforce concepts and skills learned at the Alphabet Zoo. D is for dance, you're lighter than a feather. Take a seat under the big top and get ready for the most dazzling learning experience ever. The Colors and Shapes Circus. I'm colors! I'm shapes! How do you do? This entertaining program will help children develop color recognition skills through fun-filled clown antics and songs. A fun-filled music video will introduce children to basic shapes. Shapes, shapes, go every which way. Shape recognition skills are reinforced through colorful games. By watching this program, children will come to understand that everything has a color and shape and that colors and shapes are everywhere. The Colors and Shapes Circus is the perfect way to introduce children ages two to seven to many important skills and concepts. Hop aboard the Numbers Express and let our friendly engineer take you and your child on an exciting journey into the world of numbers. So come along and enjoy the ride. All aboard! An imaginative music video introduces children to numbers and how we use them. They're down there, all around there, everywhere you go. Children will discover the concept of one-to-one -one correspondence and learn to count, too. The Numbers Express is a fun way for children ages 2 to 7 to learn all about numbers. We're gonna have fun, you can count on that. Journey back in time 65 million years and learn all about dinosaurs. Lifelike animatronics, activity songs, and colorful music videos bring the...